Hello. Guess what? Guess what? Tabletops yeah. are still popular, right? No more <laughs> fucking Warhammer, thank God! And we get to play... Yes, this exists! Strahd! <laughs> no, you <laughs> jackass, we're playing that. Checks it. Get me out of that game, I don't want to play Strahd. I like Strahd. We're Strahd. playing Street Fighter. We're playing Street Fighter if we have no cabinet. We have no console. We don't even have Fightcade. We got this instead. Yep. We got Street Fighter so, at home. Street Fighter at home is this. Yes, it is. And you know what? <laughs> I am here for it. So to give you a brief history about why this exists, uh, somebody at White Wolf, I've yet to pin who exactly, became obsessed with Street Fighter 2, the, the, the arcade cabinet. And saw that the storyteller system existed with Vampire the Masquerade, of all things, and said, what if we took that game system and involved it with Street Fighter? And then this got made because of that. <laughs> it is so incredibly bizarre that this game exists, and apparently that game was filled with a ton of design issues and some really, <laughs> really good artwork, too. Uh, if you're a big fan of Rob Leipfeld and Image Comics, then you'll sure get a kick out of the official books <laughs> of Street Fighter. But we are playing... We're, we're kind of cheating with this. We are playing a fan-made revised version, a 20th anniversary, <clears throat> so to speak, of this game. Which has gone through, I've read this thing cover to cover, it's fixed a lot of issues that were in the previous editions. There's the link for it, by the way. So, sfrpg.com. We got this from you. Thank you for this. This is completely free, non-profit, and of course, no copyright infringement intended. And here we are. All right, we all know how to make a storyteller system game character by this point. Uh, more or less. I will try my best to remember how the fuck to do that. All right. You let's see. Let's play something play. a little, a, a, a little less loud. Let's play something just a little less loud for character creation. Yep. Uh. I was going to try to play the entire Street Fighter soundtrack for this, but there's no real ambient themes in Street Fighter. It's not like it's not like Tekken, where if a Tekken RPG exists, please let me know about it in the comments. All right, actually, you know what? I'm gonna get All my right. vampire book out just so I got my my my, my sing along guide for this. All right, your sing along. All right, we've already got the concepts. We already picked what characters we were going to play as at the start of the, at the start of this. Yep. So we've got a. I have got a bunch of icons I need to upload to the Roll20 game as we speak. I upload the wrong picture. Yeah, it happens. Alright. Uh, yep. T uh, ten minutes before we start recording, I made a shit ton of uh, icons Roll20. So, going down the line, see, shall we go in alphabetical order? Uh, I, I have mean, no idea. Uh, what? That would make just a little bit of sense. So, Ryan, how much do you know about Street Fighter? Uh, not much. All right, not that much. All right, that's perfectly fine. You looked at the character roster and you picked this guy to play as. So, behold, we have Ryan who'll be playing as Dalzim for this. Um, yes. This is more of like a demonstration of the rules than anything else. We'll be doing this for about two episodes. So, we got Dalzim, and Ryan, you don't know that much about Street Fighter. You picked a character because you thought the way he fought was cool, rather than the character itself. Well, it was more, I didn't want to play a big dumb guy again. I right, wanted to play intelligent, fast. You would have been perfect for Zongif. I was going to crush me reload, between faces, not Zongif. Zongif. Character sheet. It, it moves like an action figure that's about to fall over. Oh yeah, Zangief. It's and it... Soviet Russia burger eat you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, he's so, the funniest like death sound in his uh when you beat him in Street Fighter. It's. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I remember it distinctly. <laughs> and in terms of his character, don't be alarmed. If you're looking for complexity, this is not the game for you. <laughs> So, a lot of characters in this are very easy to understand, very simple. Uh, 
easy, e easy, easy. This, this should be easy enough for you. So Dalzim, his whole shtick is that, well, well, guess what country he's from. I mean, take a while, take a wild guess as what country he's from. India. Uh, yeah. He's the man who is Indian. And his whole shtick is that he achieved a, a small level of spiritual enlightenment. And now he's got the power of yoga. Where basically that means he's got stretchy limbs and the power to breathe fire. You also had an explanation in... Um, this, this goofy explanation in Street Fighter 2 that he ate so much curry it gave him fire breath. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'm not even shitting you. I mean, it feels like that sometimes. But either way, that's him. And your whole thing is martial pacifism. You don't fight unless it's going to be for, say, the the virtues of truth and justice or for a charity match or for, you know, righteous reasons. You're not exactly a violent person, but you can kick some ass when you want to. Yeah, I got you. And for, for some reason, he's allergic to the floor. He just doesn't ever want to actually... Walk, he just levitates constantly. The floor so is made like, out uh, of lava, Dulcim. Yes. That one guy from uh, Overwatch. Is is that the uh, Zenyatta? Yeah. Alright. Alright, next up we've got Kyle's character. <laughs> he shall be playing as Guile for this episode. All right, and time to be America. Yeah, as Kyle loves playing G.I. Joe, big American kind of characters. That's because um, I am yeah. the quintessential American. Yes. <laughs> so American that uh, you're playing as a character whose haircut was based off of Rudolf von Stroheim from JoJo. Yeah, close enough. Yep. Let's see, and uh, this um. Yeah, so finally I got this page up. In case you're looking, yes, I did blow this up, and yes, the faces are a little fucked up. <laughs> no, it actually, the resolution isn't too bad from what I'm saying. And yes, we Kyle do have looks to, we so do have derpy. to <laughs> <laughs> we, I, I took a low, I had to take oh, a yeah. low resolution. Okay, I see what you mean now. All right. It blowed up the best I could. <laughs> yeah, like the map itself looks fine. The character sheets are a little wonky. And... Of course, you you got Guile. You of course know who what he's all about. Yep, America. Yep. Be America. the American the Japanese think you are. Extremely obnoxious and obsessed with guns. Guns are a part of my religion. You're not wrong. <laughs> Let's see, and next up we've got Sean, who'll be playing as Vega for this episode. I'll be doing it beautifully. See, beautiful man. I'm realizing we start falling into what we typically do with characters when we when we play games in the show, where Kyle goes for the big American hero, Sean goes for the mysterious man, and then Ryan takes the most mechanically interesting fighter and then plays that, and then makes the character second. Yep. That's why that's I played the get right. because they kill I literally shit. I only I only pick Vega because that's who I played with in Street Fighter. <laughs> that, Although I feel like you're you saying get... something about my psychology now, though. Yeah, kind of, sort of. <laughs> this all makes sense now. Now, now, now we we were gonna have a fourth guy, Meepian, who usually appears on our show, playing as Cammy, but he is on a hot date tonight. So you know, um, with Cammy, your social, yes. so, yeah, your, your social <laughs> life, your, your love life beforehand. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right, and as we know, with our usual stuff, you may pull up your character sheets. We have been forced to use Hunter the Reckoning sheets because there is no Street Fighter character sheet on Roll20. I love it. And how to make that sheet, I don't know. The minute I figure that out, I'm going to make 20 of these. There are so many games that need sheets in Roll20. So many sheets. Alright. So, let's begin. As we know, the storyteller system, you know the alignment by this point. It is 7, 5, and 3. Select your attributes. 7, 5, 3. Now, okay, take, keep see. in mind, 
It's just Street Fighter. Take a wild guess as to what stats you'll be using the most. And stretch that out and put that in the It's going to be awareness and bureaucracy. That's what we're going to be yeah, using the most. Ex exactly. Street Shit. Diplomat. Uh, you said seven, five, and three. Seven. Yes. Yeah, and of course, Ooh. we know how this works. Three here. Three here, a little Two, bit there, a little bit one. here. All right. Uh, I'm, okay. I'm assuming we're going to be doing mainly strength brawl stuff. Yeah, pr pretty much given the nature of this game. <laughs> yep. I, I was contemplating using um, Ralph the Apocalypse Sheets, but... Nah, the rage mechanic or the gnosis mechanic would just be sitting there the entire time untouched. Yeah, we can't fair. have more than more than five, right? Yeah, ex exactly. You can't put more than five in the stat. Sorry, more we, than four. Do we have a do we have a base one yeah, on each stat, okay. and we're adding? Five? Yeah, all all of them start with one. Okay. Yeah. As yeah, but usual. I'm saying that doesn't count towards our our our, our total, correct? <laughs> yes. All right. And checking out this stuff. Da, 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 da. So they're surprisingly stingy on abilities. Hmm. So, I mean, it's right. Hunter. Like I said, when you play Hunter the Reckoning, you are willingly choosing to pick the humans in a game of Alien vs. Predator. Oh, no, I'm saying the Street Fighter game, it's stingy on stats. Oh, okay. okay. Well, let's see here. I... For right. your abilities. That is done. Is there. everybody ready? Yeah. Damn. Dude. I am. I... You're... All right, so Kyle, before you say anything, you have that alignment wrong. It's nine seven four in this game. A uh, nine seven four in Hunter. In Street Fighter. Oh, okay. Because I thought it was like yeah. thirteen five, thirteen nine five, nine seven or something like that. No, no, get get your mind off Hunter. Don't worry about that. All right, so thirteen nine four okay. for Street Fighter. No, nine seven four. Nine seven for Street Fighter. Goodness gracious. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You said no more than four in each in in one in one stat. Uh, you can't go correct? past five in, a, in an oh, attribute. Five. Okay, all right, that's yeah. fine. See, hang on, that was it, the attributes were still the same, right? Seven three, seven five yes. three. Okay. Yes, that's still the same. Okay. All right. See, I I have posted the rule book in the Discord server if anyone wants to look at that. Okay, actually. Why are you thinking of? Wait, that's awareness. What are you I'll thinking about? I need this. You need to get, you get half a brain. I love how athletics uh, and dodge are two different things. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it makes sense because athletics is climbing stuff, lifting stuff, cartwheeling gallop away of stuff, and then dodge. I mean, there's a difference between dodging a car coming your way and dodging a bullet. Yes. When it comes to this. Or give me what was the uh, abilities? What what's the uh, spread on that? Nine seven four. Nine, Nine seven four. four. Holy fuck, that's a lot. Yeah. Uh, stingy. Yep. Are we question? Remember, are we using melee or brawl? If it's something I can ask. It's 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 brawl. Melee is brawl. using a weapon, where Dalzim doesn't do that. So nine would be over here. <laughs> I'll do. I would be using melee though. Correct. Yes. And this one's no Until more than get, three? Uh, no more than three. Gotcha. So, no Kyle, dial that gotcha. brawl back. You got too many points in brawl. Oh, do I? I thought you said no yeah, more take, than four. Take, take, take that, that point and drop it somewhere else. Attributes. Sorry. Oh, no more than three, you should have said. Yeah. In attributes, it's no more than four. In abilities, it's no more than three. Yes. Unless uh, you're paying 3.5, but that's later down the line. Nine seven three. Yes. The, the, three. Okay, the, remember, everybody watching at home, the key numbers of the day are nine seven three. Go to your scratch card and get those numbers. I wouldn't. See, I mean, day, I did buy a lottery ticket the other day, so we'll see. <laughs> I just had two bucks sitting in my wallet. I figured, why not? All right. Has everyone got their skills? Uh, almost. Yep. Uh, let's see. All right. Because we are about to move on to everybody's favorite part of the game. Which may or may not come up depending on what you guys pick. Let's see. 
Uh, Kyle, I feel like you're going to pick one of these because of the memes. Oh, yeah? Alright. Okay. Everybody set? Everyone is set? I'm set. Yeah, I'll probably do all this all with me being later. Alright, next up is backgrounds. Okay. Everybody loves the background system. Yes. Okay. I think I should just directly copy-paste this directly into the roll 20. Alright, let me get that out of the way. So, what? behold. Here are your backgrounds. You've got... We've got going down the line. We've got allies, animal companion, arena, backing, clan heritage, contacts, fame, manager, resources, sensei, and staff. All right, and we have. Now keep in mind, keep in mind who you're playing and what would make sense for them. All right, and how many points we have in uh, back in for these? Five. 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 Ah, okay. uh, what's the max? Five. Oh, you could do five in each. Right. Okay. Yes. Now for for Ryan, you on the other hand, you have four to go off of because you're playing as Dalton. No. See, and it's because you get an automatic background in Elemental. I got you. Because you breathe fire, one of your background points goes to that. I'm just a huge fire breather. Yep. Exactly. Uh, where He's, are that's the really freaky, freaky way. Alright, let's um, see here. The cutscene that plays when you meet him in Street Fighter 6, the dude stretches his arm all the way across the ceiling and then down to pet an elephant while you're talking to him. And then he starts doing the yoga and his entire body becomes a spaghetti noodle as he ties himself up in a knot. What pages backgrounds? Alright. How much is backgrounds? What? Oh, never mind. I found it. That I posted it. If you were one of the people that to... wanted to cancel a poo, um, you will not like Dalsim. Yeah, yes. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the people you who very much not like the people who canceled a poo have a special place in hell reserved for them. For it's because it's <laughs> no, a, a poo grew in size with every episode, uh, every season of The Simpsons. What? They had to get him out of the show. They had to get him out of the show before he reached a critical mass. The fuck are you talking right. about? Do you not know about that? <laughs> Do I need to post the picture of I don't think that happened again? Uh, a poo's right density was about to collapse and he was about to cause a black hole in Springfield. Thus he had to be removed. Or else we'll have had no symptoms. Alright, all right, is he fault. bullshitting me? I feel like he's bullshitting me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really have to ask this question? No, I like <laughs> given the direction of the Simpsons for like the past twenty years, that somewhat wouldn't surprise me. But at the same what time, I know it's bullshit. Shirt? What color is his shirt? You, you know John green. better than any of us, and I guarantee you, you know what he you know what this is. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Fuck. Okay. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I found a little fun, Context. fun picture of Dalsim. To explain to you what I mean by the the whole yoga thing, um, Ryan, this is for you. Nah, no, fuck. I love you, Roll Twenty. Here it is in usual chat. And you and you just do this. This is just something you do. Let's see. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. Your, your mind is absolutely boggled. Yep, you seen the world and uh, Discord. That's what your character can do. Yep. Stretchy man, Mr. Fantastic the over there. The hands. Reach over. He gives you he gives you the okay sign. He all plays right. a circle game with you on the fourth dimension. Can I can yeah. I just put all of it into um into what? Stretch. Into what? Elemental. And the all of it into elemental, it's because that will go into other elements where Dalsim doesn't exactly control that. When you play this game and you make an OC and you put all four points into it, then you pretty much become Aang from Avatar The Last Airbender. That's cool. Uh, so, being Dalsim, what would he, you know, put into his background? See, I'd probably, if I were you, put two points into fame. I gotta say, I'm glad I'm picking an origin character, but I really kind of want to mess with uh, an original character. 
We could definitely I feel come like back it'd to be kind of some point. Could, it, I feel like an original character with like this setup is kind of fun. Oh, we, we can one hundred percent come back to this game at some point. Turn this game from Cause... Street Fighter to Soul Calibur real quick. Exactly. <laughs> that Yo. I have played. I will that... Siegfried the fuck out of this game. <laughs> <laughs> First time I ever played Soul Calibur, it was during a tournament during PAX South. Yeah, oh, really? uh, I got up to like third place. Nice. Soul Calibur yeah. was the only game that I ever ran an arcade with, where I literally had a line of of, of, of people behind me that couldn't beat me that challenged me. That's fucking like, awesome. Like I ran that game. It was that's the only cool time shit. that's ever happened. I've only ever played. I think I played Soul Calibur four on a GameCube at the game room floor at Magfest a couple of years back, and it was a lot of fun. It's a great game. The only, go, Ryan, game of, the only game I've ever run, it was at Thank that you. same convention. Um, they had, like, next to the fighting tournament table, they had a bunch of other smaller, just random games going on for tournaments. One of them was Tony Hawk Underground 2. And oh, I was playing, like, a fuckload of it up until the con. I had no idea this was going on. And I, got, I was standing there watching it, and one of the guys running the stand looked at me. He's like, hey, man, you want in? I'm like, sure. And he's like, write your name down here. And I wrote my name on a roster. And they're like, uh, Kyle, where are you at? So I get up there, and I start fu- And we're playing- It's not trick attack. They were doing graffiti where you have to, like, trick off of as many points on the map as you can. I fucking wiped the floor with people up until the very last round. I lost to a Tony Hawk Pro Skater speedrunner. I got second. Yeah. <laughs> like, quite literally, I showed up out of nowhere. <laughs> After the third win, they're like, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> I've never seen him anywhere. The only <laughs> tournament that I won at that uh, convention that I went to, back south, was a, uh indie Switch game called Nippon Race or something like that. Yeah. It was the only one I won out of all the tournaments that I entered. It was yeah. weird. I here comes the hard part for you guys. <clears throat> All right. Techniques. Now, for the sake of simplifying this game, not making this too difficult. As part of the advantages, you would have to select your individual attacks. So I'm going to make this simple for you. We all have we, we have eight points. I'm determining where six of those go for us. Okay. Oh, no. All right. That will I'm go into punch. your... Into your basic punch, kick, block, grab, athletics, and focus. That's what we'll go into. And that's in edges? Yeah. That would be your edges, yes. Okay. Wait, hold on, man. Wait, wait, wait. Don't put it in edges. That's where I put your special moves. So that's in... Put it... Put it in other traits. Okay. All right. And we have two in each right. of those, right? Uh, you have one. And then next, with your other points you have in techniques, you can put another one into punch, kick, block, grab, athletics, or focus. Or we can go into weapon training. If you wish. Uh, no, punch, or, go ahead. kick, block, grab, and athletics, there's just one in each, that's it? And focus, yes, one, one of each. On focus. Now for Vega... This is automatically decided for you. Two of these will be going into Claw, which will be a seventh one for you. Meaning that you'll get a little bit of extra dice whenever you use your Claw attack. So, you know, get that weapon out of his hand. Yep. Alright. So, Gu Guile doesn't use another weapon... Unless you want to go into firearms, then we can put points into that. I feel like given he's in the army, I should at least have, like, one or two points in firearms. All right. Put a point in firearms, and then have another point that you put anywhere else. And, Ryan, your character would never touch a weapon, so just put two points wherever you like. And put another one in punch, because I remember Guile was a brawler. Let's see. You know what? And then hey. we've got the mass... Massive, massive list of special maneuvers where I'm going to treat this like a tutorial. I've given you one special maneuver already on your sheets. Okay. When you use it, I will list off to you what it does. If you have played the Street Fighter games, you already know what these moves are. 
where Kyle, you can see yours clear as day. Yeah, I mean, I think mine's pretty simple. If I yeah. remember what his was like, a different kind of Hadouken, where it's just like a spinning yellow thing, right? Yep. Yeah. What you do is that you take your fists, you have them, you have your palms facing outward, put your hands elbow to elbow, and then, like it's ripcord, move your arms against each other as fast as you can. That will cause the wind beneath your between your hands to spin, creating the sonic boom. Sonic rain! Sonic rain! That's why it does. With a bit compression. Sonic rain! Sonic rain! And right. then lastly, we have the freebie points. Alright. How many as did we, we get know, to the... We... Um, how many points did we give to the special attack? Let's see. How many points to the special attack? You get seven points, but we're going to keep it at one for a minute to to, to avoid over overcomplicating this. So, Sean, yours would be the move where you know Vega jumps into the air and then slashes downward as he's jumping over you. But you had one listed there as flying body spear, and I'm assuming that's the one you're referring to. That's what it is. Yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, I'll, you all have a copy of, these, of this rule book now. Read this between sessions and then pick the other six you want. All right. And here are your freebie points. You have 15 of these to dump wherever you want. And in terms of health, this game has a different uh, wound penalty tracker. You have 10 health points instead of the usual seven. And if you want to extend that by a point, you can now do that with the freebie points. All right, cool. How do we track that on the sheet here? I'll be tracking it on your tokens. Okay. So we don't have to do anything right. with that right now. Yeah, yeah. don't worry about it. Of course, if you take a point into health, let me know ahead of time so I can modify your tokens. Right, and looking down the line. And how many, uh, how many freebie points did we have to, to work with, did you say? 15, the usual. 15, okay. 15. So wait a minute, so I if to... I... Go ahead. No, go ahead. I was going to say, like, four attributes. Is it the same as XP where it's, like, five times the level you're uh, leveling up to, or no? Not with freebie points. It's Not just five points. points per, like, extra attribute yeah. or two for extra ability. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's exactly what we're going for. Wonderful, wonderful, window bar. Not going down the line to here I think I've gotten just a little bit confused with techniques oh yeah pu pu yeah so punch will be going into this so yeah I'll just keep intuition at the moment I might be fiddling with the rules just a little bit Dude. who me or uh, I might be doing it oh okay yeah so don't don't worry too much about this so, yeah, with your focus and some of this other stuff, that'll be an extra dice we'll be adding to your roll, so to speak. There, so are two is... of you, there are two of you that have moves that'll be affected by focus. I gotcha. All right. I'm looking at all this. Let me know when everybody's ready. All right, let me see I'm here. still back on special maneuvers. It said, said seven okay. points, but I gotta go chapter Don't eight. worry about it, Ryan. Don't worry about it. Okay. Don't worry about it. So just right. do the experience points? Yeah, just do the experience points right now. Check out those maneuvers later because we don't have enough time to go through the entire book. I got you. I got you. I got you. All right. Uh, this, it's a lot of shit to pick from, and knowing you, Ryan, you get very technical with your character creation. I do. I really do. Hmm. All right. So um, you okay. you might be wondering, in that whole Creed section, there wasn't exactly a fighting style section on these sheets, so I added these for you. In Street Fighter... Your starting willpower and your key points, which in this game would be Conviction, where, I've, where I'm recording that, those that is, so to speak, in Turbo Edition, um, it might be Champion Edition, but Turbo Edition and then the Alpha Games, and then so on and so forth, you had the EX meter or your Super Meter, that's what that is. That That's what sets off your special attacks. Alright, cool. And then, And then we all know how willpower works in my games. Yep, re-roll okay, your well, lowest die, and hope for the best. In case a stranger is watching this video, that is a dice block that you get to re-roll in my games, and the rules as written as normal, that's your entire dice pool that gets re-rolled. 
Though oh. I tend to hate that because you can end up getting a worse result by doing that, which makes it feel like you've just wasted the willpower roll and it would have been better to not roll at all. Yep. So I just do the individual dice. All right. I'm going to hit the head real quick. How does she first. work? How are we uh, tracking health as well? All right. Don't worry about it. It's going to be on your tokens. Don't worry about it. Uh, oh, so we, we can't put points into health? You can put points into health, but let me know if you're doing that. All right. I put right. two points. Uh, I put... I spent six points to get right. two health. Uh, yes, and you spend you spend key to use your special maneuvers. So that move you have, that's where that comes from. All right. I see. I've got so four, moves that would have been basic in Street Fighter are now all EX moves. <laughs> and to my knowledge, there is no super arts in in this game because. So by uh, powers, for, does that also mean like basic punch, kick, whatever, or is it just their your special powers? It's uh, let's see, let me look at the freebie sheets again. I'm going down the line. I was about to read some of the other stuff. Okay, let me look at what you're talking about with freebie points. That, that was also my next question. All right. Okay. Fuck's sake, where did I put this? I've got a massive PDF in front of me right now. Kyle has gone to the bathroom. This is a perfect time for him to be away. See. All right, finally and found all, And all the basics, we only have one point in each. We don't have we don't have anything besides those one points. Yeah, but you just have one point in each right now. Okay. Yeah, just yeah, just just for sake of being, having this be like a tutorial game for you guys. Gotcha. All right. Let's see, powers. Looking at this. All right. Fuck. I think this. Control F. Powers, powers, powers. Remember, each style discount with powers on list. Each style in Chapter 6. That's what I was about to get into with the styles. So going down the line. So you all have a unique style, you can see. As with... That's... Uh, with Vega, so it is... Else. Yeah, with... Uh, hold on a minute. With Vega, it is Nunjitsu. With... Well, Dalzim. That is not the style... Kabaddi is that that is not what Kabaddi looks like when Dalzim fights, but that's the closest oh. parallel we had. So <laughs> Okay, so, so it's you're... it's the creed that we're Yeah. Right yeah, that that's right what sure. it is. So your powers in question. I am pretty sure I'm pretty sure that's just your maneuvers again. Because I'm going to control F looking through this entire thing with powers. I'm pretty sure that's just your techniques again, really. Oh, they have a they have a section for techniques, though. So. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I'm I'm going through powers with this again, and powers. I think that's just another synonym. Now, I could be wrong, and I that could be, say your chi, but now the chi is already in here. Cross powers out of this entirely. Don't even look at that. Well, I'm just wondering if they meant to like if you wanted to add one to the special ability or you're just punch kick block or whatever i See, couldn't tell if, that would, if they meant one or the other that would be your techniques then so i think powers is completely extraneous okay all right so, so don't even look at powers just cross that with your sharpie don't even look at that i see all right look, looking at this Let's see kyle has been dead fucking silent let me see Sorry, how far he's gone with this i'm back all right have you spent your freebie <laughs> points I believe I have, yes. All right, he's done. Let's see, I'm done. And well, hold. I we spent about we spent less than an hour on character creation. That's good enough for a live play. Oh, hold up, play. All right. Now for the actual premise as to what we're doing. Now we're not going to play for too long. This is more like an introduction to set up the game itself, and then with the second episode we could do something crazy. All right. Going down the line as to what we've got. Now, you all have a special fighting style, and see, so going down the lines. And normal play, this would be, this would dictate, dictate what special moves you would have. So, for example, uh, let's see, who, who do I get to fight? Kabaddi. With Dolazim in question, if he wanted to learn other moves, it would be stuff like headbutt, slide kick, Energy reflection, Sanhe. 
stuff like that, and a ton of focus abilities. But I got you. yeah, that's essentially what that is. It decides what abilities you pick up later down the line. It's like your it's like your spell list in D D, so to speak. So so to speak. Hmm. Okay, what we've got. And of course, Skyle fights with special forces. Now I will also add a uh, health, by the way. There we go. I right, take the health. And you have ninjutsu, which would be just about everything involving a kick would be stuff that you would learn. And look at that. There's also there's also fighting styles in this game that no character uses. Like even in Street Fighter VI, there's some characters that don't fight like this. Like um, like I don't think there's a character in in Street Fighter that uses Salat. I don't think there's a character that does that. And going down the line. I would love to see a Baja Kwan character appear at some point. But yeah. now we've got stupid ass character design in Street Fighter 6 so far. Yeah, all my friends, uh all my friends understand that I'm gonna be playing a corn tribute show, so now they're just posting gifts of corn in my text messages. Like they're one of my friends actually of sent demon. like a gift from the actual music video for Freak on a Leash, and my other friend just had butter melting off of an ear of corn. It sent you pictures of corn from 40k. No, none of my like. I only have like one friend IRL that's that's a 40k guy. Aside from yourself, well, two people. Sorry. Uh, I don't. I don't actually just have ninjutsu. It's specifically Spanish ninjutsu. Yeah, the Spanish like, that's thing. a thing. It's not. Well, it's, is it really? It is. It, it's not. <laughs> they made it up for Street Fighter. I would imagine so, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, literally, you are the one guy in Spain who created ninjutsu for himself. That's And funny. you're the one and only practitioner of it. That is very funny. I mean, I had to double check just because if capoeira is a thing, anything is possible. Exactly. <laughs> uh, that's the most impractical martial art in the world. It looks cool, though. It does look very cool. Uh, right. So, for the actual plot, we may now, be we may now begin. All, all right. right. Let's see, as we all know, we have a basic right. idea as to what our characters are, and early Street Fighter was heavily steeped in very, very mainstream '80s and '90s anime around this time. I mean, Ryu looks like Kenshiro. Guile looks like uh, Stroheim. Uh, <laughs> uh, just let just let your inner anime come out with this one. It, it's gonna be fun. Well, All that right. shouldn't be an issue. All right. So going down the line, we're gonna have the worst dialogue ever. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> let me go ahead and reset the music bot. Now, to be be sure, we're off a splash screen, right? We're not on a splash screen right now, are we? No, 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 no. We're still we're still in the thing. All right. Let's go. We'll be using Guile as our framing device for the, for this episode. All right. All right. So, Guile, behold, you are on an assignment. Where in the world are we going to end up? See, you got a little blue arrow. That's kind of hard to see on this background. Let me change that arrow color. Yep. See, let's go with... See, red will be fine. All right. It's still blue. So, right, there here we, we are. All right, so from the good old US of A... We are going to see, Gal, what do you think? What do you think? If you were a troublemaker, what country would you be hiding in? China! Let's see, China! <laughs> see, we have no China in this one, we have a Hong Kong. There's China right there! There it is. No, 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 Hong Kong it's only. The, oh, fine, we'll go to Hong Kong, I don't care. You see, you see, this is the reverse history where Hong Kong annexed China. Oh, you mean West Taiwan? <laughs> Alright. Well, guess what? It's no longer your decision. We're going to Spain. Oh. <laughs> All right. You're going across the Atlantic Ocean to Spain. As you're, you're on an assignment. On a whole ass now, aircraft Gile, carrier. In the timeline of Street Fighter, 
from what I understand with how these games go, they don't go numerically in order. The story is, from my understanding, one, the alpha games, four, five, three, six is how the story goes. That's confusing. I know, Street Fighter 2 technically doesn't happen. The Alpha series happens instead. And well, Street Fighter 2 is just Street Fighter, but better. Exactly. You took a very terrible arcade game and you made it better. And with this, in terms of the timeline, this takes place between the events of Street Fighter Alpha and Street Fighter 4. So, M. Bison, at this point of the story, is dead. And so is your best friend Charlie from the military. He's not coming back until Street Fighter V. So this is right before the events of Four. Sorry, As... Charlie. You were a good soldier and a good friend. This is right in the middle of the 90s. Right in the mid-90s. And you are on an assignment in Spain. In anticipation for an upcoming tournament... Hosted by a company known as SIN. Uh, yeah, de definitely not an evil company, guys. There has been something alarming. Now, competitors being jumped before a tournament in order to rig results, that's nothing new. What's alarming is the attack itself. A fighter that was going to be from Spain was attacked and brutally murdered. His arms were broken in three different places, and he was strangled to death. Wonderful stuff. Guile, given the nature of this killing and how capable that fighter was, and that we don't want a big international scene coming from this, Shun Li has called in a favor. You have gone to Spain, specifically Barcelona, to look for this potential killer. Though, you're not exactly alone. You've also heard that Cammy is in the area, though you did not see Cammy at the airport. You know that she's somewhere in Spain. And you also f remembered, ah, Dalzim is scheduled for a charity match here in order to help raise funds for a few towns that are down their luck in Spain. Dalzim has been touring the world and he's come to Spain. He's going to do a match in Spain. The money that goes towards ticket sales for that match will instead go directly to charity. It's great that that's typically what he does whenever he fights. So you might find him here. Though, there is one other name that's sitting in the back of your mind. Vega is in this town. A former member of Shadaloo. Even though Shadaloo has disbanded, so to speak, he still... He still killed a lot of people. And he's somewhere in Spain. If you're going to find him in a town, in a city, this would be the place to find him. We now cut to you. Guile, you're currently on the streets of Barcelona. Driving through, everything is fine. And... Looking around, it is night. Nightlife life in, night life in Spain is pretty exciting. We're currently in the middle of April same month that we are in as of recording. Kyle? Guile. You become one. Into your character. Describe to us your inner monologue. Barcelona. I've been back here since the first tournament. I remember that fight with Vega. That crazy idiot nearly killed me with those claws. With any luck, I won't run into him again. But then again, given the nature of my visit, I just might. And God help him if he comes across me again and tries to start something. I'm on a mission. Hmm. Fingers crossed, right? Sure hope he is not played by one of us at this table. Oh, oh boy, that'd be a tragedy. <laughs> I also love the internal aside. <laughs> it's very anime. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, look, I gotta embrace my inner like early two thousands cheese here, bro. We're playing a Capcom <laughs> game, of course. All right. This is the same company that wrote. Where's everybody going? Oh. Bingo. Yeah. 
And this, they also made Ostro's Wrath. I didn't play where, that. Uh, that game is... It's more like an interactive movie with all the crazy shit that happens in it. Yeah. I actually, you, now that I have a PC that can run it, I should really play RE4 make. Yeah, the, that is that is actually a really good remake. They did did the they did that game so well. That and RE2 make both of those are fantastic. And nobody likes the third one. It's eh, I've too, heard. It's yeah, it's too samey, too yep. samey too. Let's see, behold, the streets of Barcelona. All right, cool. Let's see, I will place yeah, Guile District. right there. Let's see, Guile, hello. Let's blow you up in size. Yep. There we go. That's a little good. Better. Lord. Uh, a little bit more accurate to how you would be standing next to some of these doors. Let's see, Guile, there's got to be a payphone somewhere around here, right? I mean, it's the mid '90s. There should be one. Yep, I gotta call back. To, I gotta call back to HQ. Let them know I'm in town. Let's see, looking around, you do see that there's um, looks like a few few people walking around. You're in the nightlife district of Barcelona. You see a few people hanging around. Uh, young women hanging off the arms of their lovers as they go down the street. Some old, uh, older men in their 40s and 50s trying to find some love. Um, a lot of flamenco music in the background, too, but you've got your mind on other things. And, ah, there's the phone. All right, I'm going to go phone over phone. and I'm going to put a, I'm going to put however much money there is in there. Let's see, what is the currency of Spain? Uh, I believe it is the euro. I think. Let's see, we'll pull out the Spanish currency. I don't know if that it was still the euro. case in 1990 something, but no, it wasn't. Oh yeah, this, yeah, yeah. The, the pound that was, was crashed in the in the 80s, so yeah, the, yeah, they're using it by this point. More than likely. Um, now, no, hang on a minute, I'm wrong. It's not 2002 yet, so. No, they the still have the exist Pesenta. until 2000s. Yeah, Pesenta. No, nope. yeah, no, there was no. There was no such thing as, as Europe or 2002. No. No, Europe no. exists. The Euro didn't exist. No. The European right, so, Union didn't exist. So we have the Spanish Peseta. Where this looks a lot, a lot like the, the Karuna, come to think of it. Yep. All right, so how and many Peseta cents does a payphone cost in Barcelona? Let's see. Ah, uh -huh, there's a coin. All right, I will Why is it with... What is it with European countries and coins instead of bills? That's so darn inconvenient. Ah. None of them fit in my wallet. Let's see, it will cost, we'll say, 25. So just one coin into the slot. All right. It's probably right. brutally low. Minus peseta. Right. Minus 25 pesetas. Let's see? All right, you managed to get through. Hello, you've reached uh, the United States. Please ignore your extension if you know so already. Otherwise, please stay on the line and an operator will be with you in a moment. Guile probably remembers his HQ's extension, so he's probably going to dial that in real quick. Your extension has been dialed. One moment, please. Fine. You do look around and... Ah, there's a poster on the wall right there. It looks like... Huh, you recognize that guy? Dalzim. His face is on the poster. He's next to... You don't seem to recognize that guy. Who's this supposed to be? Huh. Looking at him. He certainly doesn't look Spanish. Taking a peek at who this is. Must be so guy goes by the name of... Luck. Yeah, he goes by the name of Abel. And looking at... Looking at what he's dressed in, he seems to be wearing a judo gi with some some very basic gloves. Probably probably the growing mixed martial arts. I mean the uh, this is the early early days of the UFC, so he seems to he might be a jujitsu, judoka, some karate. Yeah, mixed martial arts, that seems to be what he's going for. Hmm. That might be a good place to start if there's a fight coming up. Maybe they'll know something. Like See, seems to be at a local amphitheater. Got a... Let's see. You see it's already got a stamp on it. Hold out! Well, 
maybe, maybe Dalsim can help get, uh, get you in to the back way. Oh. Now, finally, Gal, you connect. Gal, this is headquarters. Good to see you. We assume from looking at the area code where you're calling from long distance, you are already in Spain. That's affirmative. Where should I start looking? Good, good, good. We need to go down the line of suspects. Now, Guile, we know you've had experience with this person already. Looking at intel, the person who attacked and killed the fighter. We have a description of him. He seems to be wearing a long coat and he wears a mask with yellow eyes. You should know who this might be already. And here I was hoping I'd never hear from him again. He's going to catch a beating this time. We want you to see him, and we want you to question him, see what he knows about the murder. He is currently the prime suspect, given his track record, and his tendency to target fighters. He shouldn't be that far away. If you are currently in the Pleasure District of Barcelona, he's going to be at one of the local pubs. I mean, shouldn't be too difficult to find him. You are, of course, specializing in American intelligence and espionage. You should be able to find him just fine. Can do. Also, it seems our old friend Dulcim from the tournament is in town, doing a charity fight at a local amphitheater. I'll check there after I see if after I see if Vega knows anything. Wonderful. If you are able to recruit Dulcim for this mission, that would be advantageous. He is always a he was always a regular Dudley Do Right. I don't think I'll have any trouble convincing him to help me. Wonderful. And. It seems that MI5 is launching their own investigation independently. It seems that Kami is not going to be co uh, cooperating with you for this mission. That's typical of the lass. Oh well, I'll get it done. Hmm. Any uh, Anything else? Negative, nothing else to report at this time. You know what to do. Over and out. And Guile's gonna hang up. Full. Well, looks like. Yeah, it's going to be fucking Vega. Ah. Right. Anticipating a fight, he's going to stretch his arms and start very. and try to walk casually, glancing into the bar, see if he recognizes him anywhere. You find a pub nearby. This one isn't too hard to find. Let's see. You find a bar that's called Mariposas Rojas. I should have put in points Spanish into means... linguistics. Let's see, what does this mean, Kyle? What does this mean, Kyle? What does it mean? I don't know what Mariposas is, but I know Rojas is red. Now, well, see. Uh, probably blood, right? Uh, fitting for somebody like Vega. Yeah, go figure. Ah. So, just stepping in. I better watch ah. my back in a place like this. As you are going to step in. And... Aha! Credit goes to Fragmaps for making this map. And... Guile, this is a much classier spot than you were expecting. I'm feeling a bit under... Feeling a bit underdressed here. As you step in... And look around. Huh. As well, close enough. I mean, um, camo is pretty formal, right? I mean, you, you are in a work uniform after all. <laughs> so as you are looking around and... Aha! You see somebody familiar around here. So, he typically doesn't drink, but... In fact, you're wondering why he's even here. In the corner, we see this guy. Ah, easy enough. Ryan, you may slide into the role of Dalzine. Ah, uh, yes. I don't know how to portray this character, so I'm just going to speak in my normal voice, as I speak. normally do. Speak, speak slow, and have a bit of bass to your voice. Like you are the guru, and you're here to educate somebody. I got you. Hi. 
Oh, not from mm. Yes. I didn't expect you to be the drinking type. Good to see you. Uh, As it's just seen. water. Yep, Dalzim. Yep, it's a glass of water, but it's more so the dish that's sitting in front of him. Kyle, you can sm uh, Guile. Your names are the same. <laughs> you yep. can smell the spices from here. Prepping for the match, I see. I saw the flyer. Yeah. Mm. Was, I'm Sorry. actually... I don't know. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I was invited. I can see that. And what about this new kid, Abel, you're fighting? Let's see, Dalzine, what do we know about him? First roll of the game, everybody. Let's see, Dalzim, I want you to roll. Let's see, I see what you spent the points to. We're gonna have you roll wits. <laughs> We're gonna have you roll wits, and let's see, Why you have you put no points, in, no points <laughs> in intuition. So we are going to go instead with investigation. Difficulty six. I was prepared for a fighting tournament, not role play. <laughs> so, in and this... you said it was uh, intelligence and what? Uh, no, wits and what? Intelligence and uh, wits and intuition. Wits and intuition. Difficulty six. Now, uh, I think the hunter reckoning sheets add dice on top of your rolls. So let's see how many this actually rolls. Well, it rolled one. That right, rolled one. Which uh, is wonderful, weird. Wonderful. Right. Maybe just do this manually in roll 20. Yeah, I don't yeah, think we, we got much of choice. The bot uh, went out. Yep, oh, no, because I only bot. have one. I have one in wits. Oh, okay. And I have nothing in, what was it, intuition? Yeah. See, intuition. All right. So, yeah, we have no real scouting as to what Abel does, how he fights. You just know mixed martial arts, and that's about it, really. I don't know much about him. I, I know that he is a martial artist, and that's about it. <clears throat> ah, so I was right. New kid trying to test his stuff. Well, I wish you the best of luck. I'd come to see the fight, but... First of all, it's sold out. I wouldn't doubt it. Second hmm. of all, I'm actually here on assignment. You've been hearing about the attacks been going down recently? Uh, have I? See, yes, that was on the news when you came in to Spain. And it is a little alarming to hear about, but, um, you know, it's nothing you can't handle, Dalzim. Yeah, uh, only what I've seen on the news, but it's really nothing I don't think I can't handle. Well, I think I can handle. Nothing I can't handle. Jesus Christ, for This is... Well, even still, capable as I know you are, I'd still ask you to be careful. You never, you never know what could happen. Tensions get high leading up to fights like this, especially with new blood, and especially with a returning champion. Although, HQ's told me that Vega is one of the prime suspects. I'm sure you remember him. Uh, I do rem I'm pretty sure I remember him. See, I mean, you, somebody you'd rather forget instead of remember. Who? After all, let's see. Well, well, Sean, how about you describe the memory of Vega? I was extremely overconfident to the point of um, obnoxious, very narcissistic, with a clear disgust of anything uh, that he didn't doesn't deem as beautiful. And almost every other male fighter he considered not beautiful. He did have an affinity for some of the female fighters, though. Of course he did. Especially Chun Li. Very flamboyant. Yes, especially Chun-Li. 
who I am astonished that me being this didn't choose to play as. I was gonna say that, but I guess he, I guess he, yeah. there's something he I'm, dug about can be better. It's because she doesn't wear pants. That's why. Neither does Chun Li. She's yeah. got the tights. But that's even more the reason. To <sighs> okay. <laughs> Thing about that, be on guard. Doll, see, Vega wouldn't happen to be here, would he? I hope not. Okay, keep fingers crossed about that. Praise not here. Yep. See. By the way, that was uh, when him asking who. Uh, that was in character. Yes. <laughs> no. Well, 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 thankfully, Dalzim never directly fought Vega, so you know that's a blessing to him. He almost cut my head off. I hoped I'd never have to face him again, but it seems, given the recent attacks, it might come to that no matter what happens. I just want you to keep an eye out, and be careful. Uh, I'll hmm. give it my best. I know you will. And if you happen to cross Cammy, let her know that I'm here as well, and we're both on the same case. I know she can get I know she can get ahead of herself on these kinds of things. But even still, I want her I want you to tell her what I told you. Be careful around here. I'll relay that. Sounds good. I got a question. Is that one Ego one. over there? It is. Oh god, no. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> <laughs> We're all fucked. It is nighttime after all. It's like when, um, it's like when fucking, uh, who is it? Um, oh God, why am I forgetting that? <laughs> why am I forgetting the guy who played Ash Williams? You got brain bleed. Don't worry about it. Bruce Campbell. Bruce, yeah, it's like when Bruce, Bruce Campbell. Campbell made a cameo in Spider-Man. This is what this feels right. like. Like the actor for Vigo <laughs> is just chilling. John called him up and it's like, hey, Vigo, do you want to be in the Street Fighter movie? Yeah, sure. I'll do it. <laughs> and he got his entourage with him too. All, all three of his angels. And Tabitha right there. For yep. any stranger watching this video, you get no explanations to this. Yup. <laughs> okay. Put him over there. Well, we've got a whole tavern here, and the fun th thing about the Mariposas Rojas is that there is a fighting arena. Actually? Now, it's, it's not open to the public. It's a members-only thing. And the password changes every week. Only people within the circle are allowed to actually know about it. So, how good are we at getting information, Guile and Dalzim? Password's got to be playing at Exactly right. <laughs> so I've got a wonderful array of tables with multiple faces on them. We should be able to figure out how to how to get this password right. Yeah, except I took fucking nothing in linguistics like an idiot. <laughs> well, maybe we you can find somebody who speaks English. I did take something into investigation. Ah. But well, that's it. Wonderful. All right, we at, we at least have somebody who knows what he's doing. All right, well, with that, the map is yours. So let's see how you guys figure this out. Uh, well, Guile, Room. feeling a mite parched because it's a bit warm in Spain in April. Uh, you'll have to pardon me. I'm gonna go grab myself a drink. I'll give him a, a head bow. All right. Or a head nod. Guile's gonna walk. Dalzim. Good. This shrimp, how did they make it so hot? This is fantastic. Perfect for training. Mm. Yes, indeed it is. There it is. I found it. The uh, spicy grilled Spanish shrimp. Go ahead. Let's copy that picture. Let's put that in roll 20. Let's see. Behold. Ah, fuck it. Close enough. There we go. Yes. I got it up. That does look good, though. Yeah, there it is. There it is. 
Bro, I actually made a fuck. Oh, yeah, you some of you probably saw it in the Discord. I made a fucking jambalaya last night and it slapped. Yeah. Well, not and last night, the night that before. That looks so that. good, man. That, yeah. That you were so like, good. dude, send it to me. <laughs> That's like, you have my address. You know what to do. I've been eating it <laughs> for like the jambalaya. past three days for lunch. It's so good. I made a um, uh, freaking furry Japanese style tonight and oh my god, I'm still tasting it. It is so good. That sounds <laughs> awesome. I had, uh, uh, you know, those like cubed stew beefs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, instant potato. That sounds good, dude. Anyway. Checking out. Checking this out. You head over to the bar and see here, passing by this. You hear a little conversation going on. Seems that these guys, ha, huh, they do speak some English. As they're going saying, yeah, and I told him that. If you, you can't play another man's cards. That's it's not right to play another man's cards when you come to a table. If I go to a table, I should be dealt an entirely new hand of cards. You understand? Does that sound fair to you? Is he talking to his companions there? Yeah, it is this guy. Who looks like this. Talking to this guy. Bit of a leap in generations there. Exactly. Very smart businessman talking like the, with it. What's up? Yeah, it looks like that guy, um, the man from Indiana, uh, he appears to be a cop when you look at his uniform. All right, cool. Let's see. Not the kind of people you want to talk to, right? Probably You are not. the law. Well, I mean, yeah, I am the law. Don't you understand? <laughs> I represent the law. Let's see, Judge Dredd intensifies. Here, and get the... It, there's the actual bar. Right. As soon as you sit down, we've got a few freaks and geeks. Her, him, hey, it's Suarez. her, and him. As this guy's going to look over at you. I, you, um, to hop us Uh, I see, I see. See. A bit of an American accent, I can tell. Well, I just got off the plane. I'll start simple. Ah, I see. Uh, un cerveza, por favor. Ah, wonderful. As he is going to turn around, and he is going to start serving you your drink. As... Gal, we are sitting next to a colorful cast of characters. Um, One wife, one Travis Touchdown, uh, looks a lot like him. And one extremely pissed off woman with, with white hair. It's been about a year since you met that character in our, in our games. Yeah, it has. Yeah. See, as this man, this bartender is going to put the drink down the table, slide over to you. Okay. Gracias. What brings you into Spain? Business, really. Oh, business. All right. You seem to be one of those military macho man like like an action star I've been told that before but really I'm a fighter a fighter oh I see we have another one of those you see you see that man in the corner uh oh wait was he, he talking is, about Dalsim he is pointing all the way at Dalsim I know him he's an old friend of mine back in the first tournament when they started up. He's a darn good fighter. Ah. Ah, so you were, you participated in the World Warriors tournament. It was a few years ago, but yeah, I did. And now, I work for the US... I, for the, I work for the... Inter, I work for Interpol nowadays. Ah. Well. Good for you. Now. As he's going to look. Why is an Interpol investigator also moonlighting as a professional fighter? I gotta stay in shape somehow. I don't get much workout pushing papers at the bureau nowadays. Ah, I see. And did you meet the winner of the last tournament? Uh, who did win the last tournament? Ken Masters. 
Uh, have I met him? I like I definitely know him, but have I met him and like talked to him? Have you? Have you met him? Let's see. Just roll straight d10. All right. Odds and evens. Yes. Odds. The answer is no. You did not get the chance to meet him. He put up a heck of a fight, but I didn't get a chance to shake his hand after the fight. He did very well, though. Strange. You you remember hearing in the news somebody interrupted his his fight with Master Bison before they actually got to throw down. To an extent, I would have liked to see it go down. Bison was cruising for a bruising, he was. But... That, that madman would have killed poor Ken. Well, I do suppose he got what was coming to him. I heard he was, uh, I heard he was also a terrorist in Southeast Asia. Yep, I was on the investigation team for that, too. Ah, the, the people that let participate in some of these matches can be ludicrous sometimes. Yeah, you're telling me. Speaking of, <sighs> you hear much about the attacks going on? I heard a fighter got brutally murdered not too long ago. Let's see. Oh, yes, uh, I did hear about that. <clears throat> that was one Miguel Cortez Alejandro. That was, uh, out of character, that is the name of the guy who died, right? Yes, the victim, yes. It would be one Miguel. I read his file. Promising fighter. He would have done well. Ah, oh, it is a shame, but... Ah, uh, some stars never get a chance to shine in the sky. Yeah, I suppose they don't. But the fact that the guy's still out there and hasn't been caught yet... Well, that's got me a little on edge. You can understand. A little on edge. So is... Is this the real reason you've come to Spain? To try to find a killer? Yep. Just but just doing my job. Keeping people safe. I see. So the... This guy is so dangerous the American government sends somebody. Yep. But don't you worry. Now that me and the rest of Interpol are involved, we may, we'll make sure that nobody else gets hurt. Right. Right. Good, good. And you're strong enough to take down this fighter by yourself? If he decides to show himself, then certainly I can. Huh. Good, good. So, he, he crosses his arms and thinks about it. So, where do you think he is? Well, I've already got one suspect. I know he's in one of the I know he's in one of the tep, one of the bars around here. I need to bring him in for questioning. Let's see. Hmm. Well, I do assure you there are no killers in my bar. Doesn't look like it. A lot of interesting folks though. Hmm. Yes, uh, actually, that man in the corner, Dalzim, he's not the only fighter. Oh but yeah? Everyone in here can fight to an extent. Even you? Well, I do know how to defend my bar if somebody tries to attack me. Well, it's good to run a tight ship. Especially with all the talent walking around. Let's see. If we may put a pot pin on this conversation, Dalzim, we cut back to you for a minute. Let's do it. And, <clears throat> see? Ah, finally, the spicy shrimp is done. Wonderful. Yeah. And... You were saying? No, go ahead. All right. You hear what sounds like the clacking of heels coming this way. I will look toward the person who is coming towards me. Let's see. Wonderful. You see a little silhouette coming in through the um, to the doorway, and huh, those those actually aren't heels; they're just very loud shoes. Fat stepping in here. Ah, oh, that's um, 
A very lovely lady who has just stepped in. Kind of reminds you of Cammy when you look at him. Let's see, wait, hold on a minute. Him! Let's see. Uh, Dalzine, we might need to rub the. We might need to rub those eyes. Uh, maybe that. Maybe that shrimp is clouding your vision. It is. Right. Give me an idea as to what we're looking at. And oh, there he is. There he is. I, I immediately delete his token when he comes out. There he Gosh, is. That messes. Yes. As Vega, you enter the scene. Jean, you may slide into character. Okay. Um, I saunter in. <laughs> and, and I probably... Immediately when he steps in, you see a few people at the, um, at the table immediately stop what they're doing, turn and look at Vega, and then immediately spin right back around and go back to eating as if they didn't see him. Well... There's the guy. As Vega, you're looking very stylish today. That is a nice uh, Dolce and Gabbana suit that you're wearing. Checks out. Let's see. After all, dress as if this is going to be the last day of your life and you're about to see God, who is very stylish. True. I'll probably start making my way towards the bar to sidle up and get a drink. Mm-hmm. see. As... Guile, you can look at her shoulder, and we'll speak of the devil. There he is. Prime suspect. Um, do I notice them right off the bat as I come up to the bar? Yeah. Yep, as you're walking up, you recognize Guile. You didn't fight him in the World Warriors tournament, but he is a friend of Chun-Li, one of your many obsessions. Ooh. Kind of raise an eyebrow and I continue ordering a bar, uh, order, uh, trying to get the bartender's attention. Let's see. As the girl see, ah, Mr. Vic, good to see you again. Shall I get to your usual order? Of course, thank you. As he's been going to go around. Guile, that's the guy! Yeah, he's. Kyle's thinking about how to go about this. He knows he needs to talk to him, but then again, he really doesn't want to, but he's the best lady he has. As the but bartender Guile puts is, down Guile is Vega's far drink of preference. Yep, go ahead. And slides over to Vega. Uh, there you are, sir. Thank you very much. And, let's see. Along with a little... Extra kick, just the way you like it. Beautiful. And I just take a sip. That steps away. Goes back to... Let's see. Cautiously. Dalzim, should we... Should we head over there and see... No, just in case this goes to shit. Well, let's do it. Yeah. As you... Just slide out the chair and walk without walking. I did put a bunch of myself. <laughs> See, a man is literally levitating in this restaurant, and everybody is more interested in Vega than they are in you. It's fine. <laughs> See, Guile. Okay, okay the whole is head this way. Okay, so we've got backup. Good. Guile is far from a subtle man. Oh, good. Go over there. <clears throat> and just lean up against this, watching. All right. Guile is far from a subtle man, and he, but he also knows to treat Vega with extreme caution. You're Vega, right? Why, yes. And I know you as well. Guile, isn't it? That's right. If I remember correctly, you were friends with... Chun Li, is Chun Li here? No, she isn't. How disappointing. I'm sure. And I, I immediately look completely disinterested in the conversation, and they go back to my drink. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> my de my delightful cosmopolitan. 
Yeah, while you're sitting down next to the bar? Um, she isn't, but I've heard that Cammy is. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, that's a head turner. Like, canonically, Vega prefers Cammy to Chun Li. Although. Nice. Unfortunately, for, unfortunately, we're here for business. Business? I can't see what business you would have with me. Well, the mm. thing is, you probably know as well about the attacks that's been going on here in Barcelona as much as anybody. Um, what do I know about these attacks, and did I kill the guy? <laughs> what know about the attacks? So this sounds like um. Well, if you I mean, were that's, to that's, do that's, it, it if if you were the guy to do it, they would have died in one hit. Um, yeah, needing to be there. strangled and having their arms broken. Nah, that's way too bad. That doesn't for sound you. like me at all. Yeah. Nope. That is not a beautiful death. In fact, in fact, Gal should know this. You you need blood when you need somebody. So how is that? Do I know anything about these these form? deaths? Otherwise, by the way, anything about this? You know the victim. In fact, you were supposed to fight him next week, but now he's dead. Okay. What was your question to me? Back ago? Sorry. I was at, I was asking if uh, if he knew anything about the attacks. Hmm. Information isn't cheap. Hmm. It is, but it also could mean the difference between life and death. Oh, for who? That's the part. Really, that not me. <laughs> Still, that's the part that concerns me. You know how tension gets high when fights start, when te when fights are scheduled. Right. Listen, if it'll get you to leave me alone, the only thing I know is I was supposed to fight the man, and he wound up dead. I didn't kill him, and frankly, it's none of my business. None of I'm just business. sad I missed out on a fight. Well, doesn't that make it your business? The fact that someone you were supposed to prove yourself against just happened up dead. A little less fun for me, but that's about all. There's always other fighters. Darn it, Vega. <laughs> always thinking things like a game. When I say this is life and death, I mean it. No, don't be so serious. I don't get wrinkles, get and I'll point to his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> he, he does have a very furrowed brow. All oh, those blurry lines. For one silly little death, for one silly little fighter. Listen, mm. I know people around here. Oh, do I don't you? know what's going on. What and if I did, I don't see why I would have to tell you anyway. It is, of course. Unless you can get me an audience with Cammy, maybe I could help. Use some of my connections. I would so like to see her again. That'd be up to her. But if you but if you help me and Dulcine fight, get to the bottom of this, I just might be able to get you two to talk. Oh, now we're thinking. No, you're thinking of portals. I knew you had a brain in there under all that hair. <laughs> sure. I guess I'll help you if I can see little Cammy again. Wonderful, wonderful. Hopefully you didn't just set up your friend for a, a catastrophe guile. <laughs> don't worry. I'll, t I'll warn Cammy a lot. Don't worry, I'll warn Cammy a long time in advance and make sure that she's already out of country before he finds out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey man, look, I'm look, I'm I've got a job to do, but I'm not gonna sell out my friends to do it. I'm gonna say that I am, but I'm not going to. We'll see. All right. She's a big girl. She can make decisions for herself. We'll see. Yeah, I suppose we could. <laughs> but anyway, um, okay. So that's got his attention. He knows he had to fight. He knows he had to fight Alejandro the other day. And I know, ba I know. Back in the day, you used to work for what was it called? Something. Let me think. Where did I write it down? What was what, the uh, evil? Loop? Yeah, Shadow Lou. Yeah. I know. Back in the day, you used to work with Shadow Lou. Any of your old pals there hanging around Barcelona nowadays? Are any of them around Barcelona? Let's see, Balrog. If he was in Barcelona, you would kill him yourself. Just fair enough. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely nothing. You hated that guy. Um, the dolls from the Alpha games, no, they scattered like the wind the minute that Bison died. Um, so I got, nah, he's deep. He's deeply penitent for his time that he spent in Shadowloo. Uh, he's broken off all ties and he's gone back to Thailand. So he's out of the picture. And with this being the events of Street Fighter right before four. We don't know that jury exists yet. So, okay. as far as you know, you are the only one. Is there anyone I would know from the city who might have some information on the uh, murders? Let's see. Anybody in the city at the moment? Probably not. Probably. Probably I need to check your backgrounds. Do you have any points and contacts? No, you don't. No, I don't. All right. I was going to, too, no. and then I didn't. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, there's not much in the way of... Maybe remaining members here in the city. Everyone's left. Just me. Hmm. Well, that rules out the pot. I guess that might rule out the possibility of Shadow Lee being a part of it. So it's got to be somebody working independently, then. Do you know anybody who might Probably. have a stake in these fights going on in Barcelona? Do I know of anywhere where we might be able to get that information? I, I do live here, so I feel like I might know, like, shadier bars or locations that might have some people that would be worth questioning. Let's see, well, you're in Spain, why not check out the Catholic Church? That'd be a Wiley terrific Catholics. spot to check out. I mean, after all, um, our president at the time of recording was on a four-hour-long phone conversation with a figure that he only ever referred to as His Holiness during the conversation. <laughs> the Knights Templar, dude. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing in Street Fighter. Yeah, the more... The more you play Assassin's Creed, the more you begin to realize that all this is real. <laughs> now, now, Kyle, this, the Knights Templar aren't real. The Illuminati is real. Well, the, the Knights Templar were very real. They just don't exist anymore. Exactly. They all, they all lost their minds after drawing to the Leviathan Cross. Now, now thinking about <sighs> this... There is a local rich man in town, come to think of him. Um, very bizarre guy. You only know him by his first name. Um, Urien is his name. You spell it U-R-I-E-N, like that. Holy shit, I actually spelled it right. Um, yeah. Wow. And... You're not entirely sure what his deal is. He's really big into tech and bioengineering. That's what you know. But as for anything else about him, we don't exactly know what kind of nationality he is. We were assuming something like Hebrew or Middle Eastern. I mean, after all, he looks a little something like this. So maybe... And maybe that's his natural hair color, but we also live in a world of anime. So, very very strange besides, he's got a lot of money, and he seems to be 
interested in curating some fighting talent. But he has not approached you for whatever reason. Well, there is a new player in town. I believe his name is Arian. He's got a lot of money. He's interested in the fights. He's kind of mysterious. I don't really know much about him myself. He hasn't approached me either, but it might be a place to start. Sounds like it. Though, he is looking for talent. I'm surprised he hasn't come to talk to you, since you were a part of the first tournament. Yes. It is curious. Maybe he didn't want me taking the shine away from all of his other fighters. Yeah, likely. After all, uh, Vega, you had a pretty despicable defeat at the hand of hands of Kin Masters back in the tournament. Mm. Son of a bitch. And. Well, I guess you did better than um, Guile and Dalzim. Guile end up losing to Zongif. Very disappointing. And uh, Dalzim... Oh, the American was against the Soviet. That's smart. Yeah, th yeah that ended that <laughs> Dalzim after that happened. And um, Dalzim, on the other hand, lost his fight to... Of all people, Ryu. Granted, that was a difficult matchup. Don't feel too ashamed about Dal that Dalzim. He is the main character, after all. I mean, Dalzim's defense in the actual game, he is the hardest person to fight. Exactly. The 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 AI controls him perfectly. The player can't. Just spam crouching. Well, only that. Kick. You'll be fine. Yeah, you can hit him across the screen. It's the only move that can immediately hit you across the screen. <laughs> Exactly. Yep. <laughs> and does he actually jump rope with his leg? Uh, like, like in the nineties. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, D Dalzim uh, had a little bit too much to drink. He said, "Hey, I could hurdle my leg like they did in the nineties." <laughs> See, but speaking of Vega, this man approaches you. See, up. Uh, Mr. Vega, I do regret to inform you that it seems that your match for tonight has called out. Gustave Legrand will not be attending. This is getting ridiculous. Why will he not be attending? It seems that, of all things, a car accident. His car started accelerating at high speed when at a stoplight. It continued until it reached 75 kilometers per hour before he slammed into a wall. That's like... Why are all my opponents dying before I get to kill them? Purpose the saying the quiet part out loud, right? <laughs> the purpose of a fight isn't to kill people, Vega. Yes, yes, yes. Chatter, chatter, chatter. I was supposed to be the one to kill them. Now they're getting into car accidents and getting murdered. This is just horrible for business. <sighs> well, well, Vega, looks like we need a replacement match. Um, There's that guy... And there's also that guy. Wonderful, right? Well. Anyone like to take their place? <laughs> well, tell you what. In place. Tell, well, tell you what. <clears throat> I'll step up to the plate. If I win, you help us figure this whole thing out. If you win, well. I'll pay for your dinner with Cammy. How about that? I don't need money. I just want to feed you. That's all. Good luck That's with enough. that. <laughs> Seeing you beaten is reward enough. Uh, Dalzi, maybe we should stick close to this just in case Vega actually tries to kill Guile. I never thought watching Sean play the villain would be so fucking entertaining. <laughs> See, after all, uh, we, we've the fans have done a 180 on Reynard. He's gone from being our least favorite of all the main characters in Merwolf to being up there with Grimm. Yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't his fault in, that in he was Reynard's defense, 
Yeah, he wasn't even there. <laughs> but also, the fucking fight against Malkov really fucking sold him. Yes. Let's see. And speaking of selling fights, Vega, why can't I blow up your token? I'm on a different map. Okay. Ryan, be you alive or be you dead? I'm alive. All right. Use your bones to make our bread. All right. Well, use my rest him again real quick. Bread. I will be Good right boy. back, folks. All right. Two, three, four. Drink so many goddamn and... liquids to stave off a cold. Let's see. And got Dalzim, we should probably should follow along with them to make sure Vega doesn't try to kill Guile. Or should we take Guile's place and you take the hit instead? No. Nope. Yeah, you ain't fighting I, that. You ain't touching that. <laughs> I I don't think we know each other well enough for me to do that. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, he should he should be able to handle this by himself just fine. Big American macho man should be able to fight this guy. I mean, yeah, I'll go with him, but I'm not gonna take All the fall right. or the, the the hits for him or something like that. Gotcha. <laughs> See. Now, Kyle, Kyle won't wait for Kyle to show up for this one. So, you remember how Vega fights, right? Uh, very fast. Yeah. Mostly yeah. kicks and claws. Jumps. Exactly. Uh, A lot of jumping. The exact, op exact opposite of Guile, who stays in place for as long as he can and charges his moves. Yeah, so it's basically me hopping around him and not trying to get hit at all. And him standing completely still. Sonic See. booming from across the room, hoping that one lands. Let's see. <laughs> See, give me just one minute. I'm back again. Ah. Welcome back. So just, a little, just a little awkward moment of silence. Yep. All right. Let's See, we wait in anticipation. This is why I like the video game loading screen. <laughs> Ryan, you haven't played a Street Fighter game, have you? Uh, I I, I did a little bit because I remember seeing that app that you showed, but it wasn't enough to make get eat into the game, you know. Gotcha. <laughs> Where they say Street the Fighter Six is the best one. I haven't seen. I haven't played the new the newest one, but I hear it's amazing. Right. It it plays as close as we're going to get to another Street Fighter Third Strike. All right, here we go. It's, okay, it's as close as we get. The only thing that ruins the game is that Ken is just too strong of a character for you to pick anyone else. Ah, uh, that's sad. Yeah, where it's a little something called frame data, where Ken has always had fantastic frames, and he's seemingly at his peak. At his peak in Street Fighter Six, he is almost untouchable. The dude has no bad matchup, <laughs> and which is funny since he it, started as as just a Ryu clone. That was it. Just that clone. was all he did. And now his frames are so fucking fast that nobody can keep up with them. I don't know. I so, I like Ryu's theme song out of everything in Street Fighter, though. Let's see, so looking at what we've. God, let me go ahead and copy that. Ryu was good. Street Fighter right. was one of those games that I played a bunch of different characters. Vega was one of my Ryu. favorites, but so was Blanca and uh, Ryu. Haha, -ha, map transition. Nice. I'm surprised no one played Blanca. Blanca's a great character. Yeah. <laughs> you, you spam buttons when you play as him. He's fun as fuck, though. <laughs> All right. I, I am definitely a button spammer. <laughs> Dude, See, I'm dog shit at fighting of... games. The only one fighting game I was ever good at was Naruto Clash of Ninja. And here we go. The only Both fight you... game I was good at was Smash Bros, and that's because I played Olimar. <laughs> Both of you roll initiative. All right, cool. It's a D10, D10 plus the amount of dots you have in your alertness skill. An alert. Oh. oh shit. Okay. I'm mad. I didn't. I didn't put any dots in that I was going to. Me neither. So we will roll evenly. I right. put dots into that. As Could you bet you're not fighting. Oh, right. wait, did you Ryan. do your base dot? Or is... Yeah. Yep. Your oh, do we dot. get a base dot? I thought we did. Based. 
Let's see. Yes. Yeah, so you oh, would be well, then nine then. then. Add one, yeah. Oh, come on. All right. That's all we've got. Well, it seems to that Vega will be moving start. first. Yeah, let me just go ahead. Let me swap your token's position in that case. To be fair, I am probably faster than you anyway. So that More than likely, out. yes. All right. And Dalzim, you're off to the side to make sure that nobody actually dies. Yeah. All right. And so we begin. <laughs> Whenever you'd nice. hear that at the start of a match in uh, Street Fighter 3. Yep. All right. Shall we begin, Vega? You get the first move, and of course, we know how combat works in this game. Yep. Same as we Werewolf. Played... Yep. We have played plenty of Vampire and Werewolf by this point. We know how this works. Begin. Right. Um, I'm going to have to start with the special. All right. Immediately get into Ooh. it. It's been a point of key. Yeah, spending a point of key. If you can tell us the name of the attack. Uh, flying body spear. <laughs> Call it your attacks, just like an anime. All right. Well, um, in in such a move, uh, one will leap into the air as a as spear before flanking their arms out and slashing the poor unfortunate soul they're jumping over. Um, what is my uh, my uh, my rolls? Dex oh, and athletics. Actually, to my surprise, this doesn't use key. This uses a willpower dice. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, and yeah, I need a willpower dice. Yeah. So that's one point of temporary willpower spent. And excuse me. See, this will be a roll. I have set up the macro for you already. Your dexterity plus your athletics. That's right. What? With one extra dice added to the roll. But I don't... So I have two points in the actual ability. Yes. I don't get an extra one. For, that's the extra... Yeah, that is, is the that extra the dice. Extra you, die? Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, that, yeah, that points in athletics. Yeah, that's your extra dice you roll. You're indeed leaping over. Let's see. To put this into Simic perspective. All right, Guile, roll a dodge roll. All right. Uh, still, Dex and Athletics. Or actually, yes. no. There's Dodge. Dodge there, is a stat. There is a Dodge. Dex thirty and Dodge in that case. All right, Dex and Dodge. That's seven. All right. Let's see, Let's you go in for that attack. Let's see, don't seem to watch your fair breath. Let's see, look at how many successes you rolled. This is difficulty six. So one, two, three, four, five successes. Vega, as you leap into the air. And do the flying body spear. Guile, you know an arrow attack when you see one. You slide underneath it. And Vega lands on the other side of you. You went right out the gate. He's not messing around. <laughs> Alright. And because there is no rage mechanic, that's it. <clears throat> right. Guile, your move. Alright. I'm gonna close the gap. And I'm gonna... Give him the old one-two in the face. All right. So, so for a punch. Yep, that'll be a punch. Where, go in with your punch attack. That is dexterity and brawl, plus any extra dice you put into the punch stat. Okay, dex, brawl, plus punch. Gotcha. This will be difficulty, same as is in Werewolf, difficulty six. All right, so dex, brawl... Plus, oh, and that's two extra dice per punch. Yes. Okay. Yep. Cool. If you're making a second attack, then that will be without the bonus. All right. See, so look at this. Says one, two, three, four successes. Vega, if I could get a dodge from you. Look at this. Ooh. See. Ooh. Oh, that ain't gonna work. All right. So in terms of damage, same as Werewolf, that will be your strength score going into that. All right, strength that is yeah. four strength. All right, you'll be taking four damage, Vega. Ooh, that's a lot. And you See, said second attack. 
Yeah, if you if you're doing the second attack, well, no, no, that's nothing. Never no, mind. not that. Okay. Yeah. No, we're not playing werewolf. Vega, he punched you right in the mask. It, like cracks a little bit, and I get pissed off. <laughs> How many of those masks do you go through a week? So many masks. <laughs> well, time to make him pay for that. It's like Superman's like 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 closet and like everything's the same all the outfits are the same and like i've got 80 mess <laughs> lined up against the wall <laughs> all, right. all right um well with that He's i'm gonna bad. try to claw him in the face all right i'll make you uglier than you already are go with the claw that is dexterity melee and the two dice you put into claw nice and end with the swipe. Bring it, right. cupcake. The, the ones. All right, Gal, give me a dodge. Dex 30 and dodge. Dex and dodge. Let's see. Roll. Dex dodge. Right, Vega, we forgot the soak. Oh, yeah. What do I. How yeah. do I do that? Right. Where's yeah. my soak? Yeah, roll three. Yeah, three, ten. Oh, just stamina. Right. Just soak. Yeah, stamina soak. And Kyle Guile will not be pressing a dodge. Okay, we are bringing that back down to a 9 instead. And Guile will not be dodging, so that will be, in terms of damage, your strength plus 1. Guile, if I can get a soak roll. Alright. Oh, <laughs> baby! Alright, that is 2 damage coming your way. I actually, no, that's that's one damage, actually, because you crit succeeded. But, right. see, it's going along. Dalzim, as you're off to the side. Wow, Gal took that claw way better than you thought you would. <clears throat> yeah, he did. See, so it must be all that thick wall of muscle he's got. Yeah, look at my thyroid glands. Fucking JoJo fans out here coping and seething. <laughs> he is a JoJo character. He's based off of one. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's got to be like the standard like claw. Like now you've got the three claw marks against the pecs, but it's like just a superficial wound. Yep, right on, <laughs> right on the cheek, right on the chin. Right. The dashing yeah. scar. Okay. okay, so going in for another good old brawler punch. All right. All right, so that's... The standing medium. Yep, give me one uh, sec. We know the roll by this point. Yep, fire. See, that is one, I'll two. burn willpower on that one. All right. Getting that back. The X's are temporary willpower, right? Yes. Okay. All right. That's that's See. not bad. Three successes. Vega, if I could get a dodge. Where can we? Got this. Up. Oh, no. Damn. Critical failure. All right, Vega, as you you are struck again, give me a soak roll. See, as as a uh, soldier boy is doing just a little too well in this fight. Let's see, mm. looking at that. Let's see, unfortunately, we only have the one success. And that is a uh, strength of four. Yes, I've calculated his health. So, Vega, we might want to be taking this guy a little bit more seriously. Mm. As I, as I, as I like rub my jaw, I spit out a little bit of blood, <laughs> and I just look him in the face, and I just grab my claw again and run at him again. <laughs> All right. Yeah, here he comes again. Let's see, Dalzim, you're looking. At, it's as if a bull is running with his horns. Let's just hope that he doesn't get gored. All right, let's see. This roll is going to be with the ones. All right. Well Gal, give man. us a dodge. All right, dodge check. Dodge Dex check. Dodge. Vibe check. See, dexterian dodge. Only one. All right, yeah, that's going to hit. All right, soak. Yeah, soak away. See, as you get. Ah, oh, Guile, it stings. See, is that right, that brings your health down, adjusted accordingly. All right, 
Guile, ah, uh, claw attacks. As Vega goes right through to the other side of you. Let's see, that nice. Ah, it's good pain. That was my favorite right. shirt. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know what we got to figure out how to do? I really want to do while we're doing this. If we do another one of these games, like another campaign, we should figure out how to do a health bar. Ah, uh, yeah. That you actually put over the character and like adjust based upon. Well, we do have. How much I actually out. do have the health bar, like the in roll twenty. Yeah. Yeah, they have one for over the head, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, we should be using that. I think. <laughs> well, of, well I, of course, I could just make this be visible to all characters in that yep, case. That's true. That yeah. You know, I do. I, I have my SNES Classic. I should just hook that up and start playing Street Fighter Two. <laughs> <laughs> Can you change the color to yellow just for funsies? Let's see. Oh, I wish I could. Damn it. Uh, but green. Wonderful. Good All right. That is going down the line. The guile, I believe, it is your move. All right. I'm doing well with the punches, so I'm keeping them rolling. All right. Keep them rolling. As so you go in. Let's see, kick, punch, it's all in the mind. There's two successes. Vega, if you can give me a dodge. Dear. Oh! Uh, that's just enough to avoid it. Damn. See, look at this again as. No, nope, Vega sees what you're going for now. He's recognized the pattern and he's going around it. Alright, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm going to do the special again. All right. Flying by spear as Vega once again jumps into the air. As your other point of all power spent. And let's see. Yeah. Give us the roll. Uh, that was... Did we say dex athletics? Dex 30 athletics plus your one dice bonus. Oh! See, oh shit! Oh, Guile! Yeah, we're going to dodge that. Yep. All right. Dex and dodge again. Dex and dodge. Yes. Oh, that's not that's not good. Yeah. I'm gonna now I'm, the. I'm gonna real. I'm gonna re-roll that one. All right, re-roll really the one. Let's see it. All right. Uh, there's another temp will power. Let's see, just to make sure. All right, roll soak. Yeah. I probably should have just the saved so that. The soakage. Alright. Ooh, no! Alright, that's one. So the fun thing about this is that this deals, instead of a plus one damage, it's plus three to damage. Ooh, that's, that's <laughs> not good. Yeah, so, Gal, that one gets you pretty good. As Vega, you land on the other side with a little flourish. You turn around, and yeah, you got him really good across the shoulder. He's got blood. The hometown crowd is going wild, and I just give a little bow. <laughs> All right. Bloodsport. Fine then. If he's gonna play rough, I'll play rough. I'm gonna use a. I'm gonna use a key point and use Sonic Boom. The Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. Sonic boom. <laughs> as, as we described before, what this does? Yep, that is plus. That is one she used. And yeah, looking at what you've got, that is a. Intelligence, intuition, and focus that we are rolling. Intelligence, intuition, and focus. Yes, we will use that for our game. You know, you really should have told me that before I, you know, charted out my character. <laughs> Just saying. Intelligence, intuition, and focus, right? Yes. Okay, so that is intelligence two, intuition two. That's four plus focus is five. That sucks, man. I really, honestly, what is, you should have told. What is focus on this for this? Focus is one focus of the other traits. Focus is team moves. Yeah. All right, so that's five detail. That's not great though. It's kind of like that's your discipline. Really, but not, really not great. Yeah. All right. Is that it? Oh, well, that's two successes. Like I Vega, said, you probably you should have told me that before we. You know, <laughs> well, before what, you charge. What, I, what I mean is, where is focus on the sheet? Is it? Oh, it's under uh, that, uh, other traits. Yeah. Other traits. Do you remember when we did that with like the punch, kick, grab, throw? 
Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah that's right. We did yeah. add focus. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, we need a dodge roll from Vega. We need two successes. Dalzine, but looking off to the side, we might need to intervene. Huh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. After all, the sonic boom comes out. And Vega, like in the Matrix, you just dodge backwards as that disc of wind flies right over your head. It cuts to chicken wire when it hits the other side. Okay. Um, I'll tell you what. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lunge as if I'm going to make an attack. But instead of attacking, I will stop short. And I'll just say, I'll tell you what. I call off the fight right now and you can save a little face. Just make sure you get me that meeting with Cammy. Gal, do we submit? Just for that, I'm going to crush you flat. Okay, so a loser. And then I'll continue the attack. <laughs> All right, continue the attack. As you go in for awesome claw attack. Fingers crossed. Yeah, that so was a claw, a... by the way. Oh, sorry, shit. But... <laughs> three, three successes. Good Dial, lord. Can roll a dodge. Okay. See my favorite thing. Nope. Really? Fuck. Shit. Yep. Well, roll soak. Oh wait, no, I rolled I rolled soak first, not dodge. Shit. Uh, roll dodge then. Oh, that was me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, eager e e beaver. 70, 10. God damn. Yeah. See? That is just beneath it, so yeah, that soak. Alright. And Guile, that's just enough to put you on under. Damn. Okay. Alright, as behold, the slow motion on my character is now suddenly weightless as I drift to the ground. Let's see. And with that, Vega. It seems that we have won. They're throwing roses. I'm bowing. I'm bowing. Um, I, again, I, I, I want to make a good impression on the ladies. So I want to make style. <laughs> behold. I'll just kind of pick up a rose, put it in my teeth, and I'll bow and then walk off. <laughs> uh, Dalzim, is he alive? Uh, I'm going to go take his pulse. Find out. Yeah. So you got to get over. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Why am I small? <laughs> Grow. There he is. Right. Now, now he's too large. Is he too large? He's elastic. Yes, he, he can be whatever size he wants. That's right. true. He's plastic man. <laughs> see. Alright. Dalzim, is this man alive? Let's see, what is this? Perception and medicine. Let's see. So that's his four dice are rolling. Let's see. Go resuscitate this man. Is he still alive? That was a pretty nasty gash. Yeah. Difficulty six. Difficulty six, yes. Three Let's successes. See. Okay, good. There, there's no major artery slashed in this. I mean, oh, okay, okay. of course Vega wasn't actually trying to kill him. That There was still a date with Cammy. Let's see. Just got a... Ah, Dalzim, there they are. In your pockets, the smelling salts. Just one whiff of that and he'll be right back up. Uh, break it open, put it under his nose. Alright. And upon doing that, yeah, Gal, that wakes you the fuck up. Uh, I can't believe I lost to that long-haired pretty boy. I can. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't helping. Regardless, we got what we came to find out. Let's get out of here. Let's see. Vega, are we sure we're satisfied with that? Uh, I still want that date with Cammy. so... I don't know why he even, uh... I just wanted to fight. I didn't really care about... I was. I already said I'd help him if he got me that date with Cammy. I mean, <laughs> well, after all, we haven't exactly had a fight with Stretchy Man yet now, have we? We haven't, but this was the fight that I was scheduled to have with the guy that got in the car accident. 
Yeah, exactly. So he just filled in, and mm. next time, next time, if my next fight goes down, Dalsim, I'm coming after you. <laughs> See, uh, yeah. I don't think you win. See, and let me throw you through a loop for a minute, as uh, as Gal and Dalsim, you're about to leave. Ah, uh, the door flies open. Vega! Oh, you bastard. As this man is going to step out. And who in the uh, hell do is Do I this? recognize them? Yeah, do I know who that is or no? Well, first of all, French. So, no. I'm a French. As this man just storms in and heads right over to the gate. You... You call yourself a fighter. You spilled this man's blood on the field. You do this for entertainment. If I were you, I'd immediately seek help inside of an institution. Everyone's a critic. What uh, do you have to say about it? What do I have to say about it? I'm saying I'm going to kick your teeth in and stop this oh. horrible thing you call a blood spot. Save your uh, breath, kid. Just... Ain't a psychiatrist in the world that can fix that nut job. The psychiatrist in the world. You will recognize my name. You can call me Remy, and I will be the one to put an end to your injustice. I just laugh, and I just say, of course you are. You pitiful little worm. I dare you. As he walks in, Dalzim, he doesn't exactly look like much of a fighter. I mean, that's a pair of, what is that, like, red tight pants and a leather jacket he's wearing? I don't know what he thinks he's going to do. It. See, I don't know, Dalzim, maybe we got a second idiot that's going to get himself killed. And that He said uh, he said that out loud. I don't know what he thinks he's going to do. Yeah. <laughs> As Remy's going to take position. Let's see, let's put him over here. 5, 10, 15, 20. Let's see, Vega, shall we accept this challenge? Sure. Do I get my willpower back or no? Yes. I, oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, sure. At the start. Well, Gal hmm. looks like this is another schmuck head who's going to get himself killed. Uh, once again, yeah. I'll step in if it looks like uh, someone's going to die. Gotcha. And then, well, unlike Vega, um, unlike Guile, Vega has no incentive to keep this guy alive. Nope. And he challenged uh, me, so it's really his funeral. All right. <laughs> I, like, I like the fact that he's like, hey, you spilled blood here. I'm going to fight you and spill even more. <laughs> exactly. Uh, behold, you understand why Remy's character doesn't yeah. work in Street Fighter. <laughs> yeah. See, this is the lamest character and we're using him. Yeah. Alright, Vega, roll initiative. Didn't feel like it. See. Now the, the whole shtick behind him is that this guy, this guy was made. Because Street Fighter um, was saying oh, we didn't have enough... They said they didn't have, they didn't have enough pretty boys in the game. So they add this guy in, and like Dan Hibiki, he's supposed to be a joke character making fun of King of Fighters, which was white hot at the time. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, so add one to uh, that, by the way. Gotcha. So you'll be moving first again. He's a direct parody of Iori Yag Yagami from King of Fighters. So we take um, we take a character and we make him even worse, just like we did with Dan Hibiki. <laughs> All right. Vega, you'll right, be moving start. first. I'll start Let's again go. with the claw. Alright, going in with the claw. Let's see what you got. Let's see. Alright, going in with the claw. Four successes. Let's see. This man is going to give it a dodge. He has one, two, three successes. Nope, he's hit. So, he is hit. Rolls to soak. Let's see, he'll be taking some damage. Yes, 
as oh that leather jacket isn't doing that much to protect him <clears throat> easy enough vega this should be another one and done fight So, you are instead going to see that this man of all things he could have done takes a crouching stance. Okay, I guess he's going to tackle you, right? Well, no, to your surprise, he immediately goes into a backflip from a standing position and propels himself forward. Guile, you do a double take. That is your flash kick technique that he's using. Not as stupid as you look. I'll dodge. So, right? That is. Oh my god. Yep, as you dodge that, as he's just going to land right next to you, that kick missing by a mile. You dare use my own moves against me and think I won't dodge them? Let's see. Pathetic. Vega, we do have a moment of relief. We know if that did hit you, that probably would have. Say twisted your neck in a way it wasn't supposed to twist. Alright. Your move. I, I will you got. unleash the special for this one then. Alright. The spear. The spear. As you leap into the air. And oh, go I forgot to spear. add one. Add, add another to that. Alright. Roll an extra dice. See, see. Yeah, you are currently sitting at one success. Oh, fun. You still have only one success. That's... I'm not going to burn a willpower. Let's see. You're not going to? No. Alright. See. Well, he dodges. He manages to roll under your attack as you land on the other side. See. A miss. Dalzim, what are you thinking? Uh... This fight is getting to be a little deadly. See, a little deadly, right? I mean, both these guys aren't pulling any sort of punches. No. I'll give it another round, and if it looks like someone's down, I'll step in. All right. Down you and see not that, dead. You see that this Frenchman pulls back his arm, and with the serious sway of his arm, all of a sudden, Guile, once again, that's one of your moves. He just used a sonic boom and with one hand. What is this kid? Let's see. Going in with the attack. Let's see. That is one, two, three, four successes he rolled. Vega, if you can dodge. Oh, sorry, that's three successes he rolled. Let's see. Nope, it didn't work with oh. Guile, it didn't work with him, so that's going to miss you. <laughs> Alright, I will uh, line myself up for another claw attack. This guy's coming out with all the fangs bared. It seems like he's trying to kill you. Yeah, I can see that. that... <laughs> right. Oh, I forgot to add one to this. You go Two. in with the stab. Let's see, alright, roll an extra d10 along with that. That might be another yeah. turn. Nope. Nope. Well, Remy tries to hit you and misses. You try to hit him and it lands. So he's going to roll soak. And takes a hit better than before, but nope. Still not looking good. Dalzim, now might be a time to cut in if you're going to. Yeah. Oh, show his health bar. I don't know where he's at now. Let's see. He is at 3 out of 10. Oh, okay. As instead, I think, I think that's you're going to intervene now. now. Yeah. As Dalzim, you stretch a hand out and stick it between these two. It's clear that he's lost. I just kind of sneer in disgust. It's like I'm not the one you should be telling. He is the one who challenged me. Remy's going to cover. Still too weak. Don't have the strength to stop fighters like you. The moniker does no I should be proud of. Fine. I'll take my leave. But one day I will write what you're doing. 
Yes, yes. What, is your, what, what does your kind say? Adieu. And I give him a little like mock uh, hand hand wave away. <laughs> your days are numbered. As he is going I to storm sp- out. Say that when you get stronger. <laughs> I spit on the ground as he leaves. <laughs> as well, not as enthusiastic as the Guile fight. Do you still you do get a round of applause? I bet. give another bow, not as mm-hmm. not as deep and not as um as um as uh as uh energetic. emphasized as before, yeah. What the well, hell was that all about? <laughs> fools. Yeah. Exactly. Ah Well, we got no idea who the hell that was supposed to be, and there he goes. Guile, how in the world did he know those attacks? He knew the sonic boom. Somehow managed to do it one-handed. Which is something but a tough copy considering that, considering that, Guile, it took you years of Special Forces training with supersonic skills and technology for you to even use it with two hands. He's using it with one. That's not all. He did that flip kick technique that you do, too. I saw it. Yes. Hmm. Little Frenchman watching us, learning our abilities and trying to use them on us. I'm I'm glad I didn't fight. You might have stretched his arm out and we weren't prepared for that. Whoever he is, I feel like that's another lead we should follow. He didn't seem too keen on killing, although he seemed to want to get killed himself. Hmm. I don't know. To me, the braggadocious types that talk about justice aren't the kind to kill a man in cold blood. So I'm wrong with that kid. But still, it's concerning. All right. We do also have that urine guy to talk to. Urian, <laughs> urine, whatever. <laughs> urine from now Go on. Go talk to the piss man. Yep. You're in a lot of trouble. Uh, God damn. <laughs> well, looks like you're in trouble. God fucking damn it. <laughs> All right. Game over. It's over. Guy's yep. <laughs> gonna look Good at night, everybody. Guy's <laughs> gonna look at like the holes in his shirt and go, "Shit, I've had worse." There go see a tailor now. All right, I've still got an investigation to do. Good fight, I suppose. Sorry from you, like, sorry from you stabbing me all the time. You should watch out for that. <laughs> Did you try getting out of the way? <laughs> Did they call the it dodging time. for a reason. Right. I've seen a ride coming out. Now, if you'll pardon me, i got a tab <laughs> to pay and I've got a mission to uphold. All right. Well, as... Gal steps out. Dalzim, should we? Well, what should you? Well, what should you do? If I remember correctly, I gotta. I'm fighting someone. Yeah. Soon? But, yeah, in a week. Oh, in a week. I thought it was yeah. today. Uh. I don't know. Maybe I just chill. Just chill out. Get the um, vibe. Some peace. Some meditation. Think about what's going on, and whether or not it concerns you. Yep. All right. As let's see here, and where we are going to leave it off. Let's see, Guile, ah, back out. Ah, that whole situation could have gone better. Ah, we just got Cami wrapped up in something that she'd rather not be a part of. 
Uh, I'm going to go back to that pay phone and warn her that uh, that Vega's out looking for her. Let's see. As you are typing in a call, to your surprise, the pay phone rings as you're making the call. Uh, I'll answer the pay phone. Let's see. Hello? Let's see. Let's see. As you hear on the other side, do you speak English? Yes, I do. Who's this? You... Are you a friend of Ryu? I wouldn't say we're friends, but I know him. Oh, well, it's imperative that you hear me. My name is Rose. Rose, huh? Seems, um... Somebody who looks like this? Yeah, it comes to think that Guile, after she says that name, you know who this is. She is this... She is this psychic. She's got powers that were very similar to M. Bison's. But she seems to be a good psychic instead of a bad one. Rose, you're that psychic. Uh, oh, yes, that's that's me. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you're... That you know of me. Yeah, I've read your file. So what gives? What gives... I had a reading. I looked into the future, and I come to you with a warning. What's the warning? The warning. Keep a close eye on Vega. It's not that he's going to do something, it's that something is going to happen to him. The reading I got. When I was looking at my cards, there was something that came up. The Three of Swords. Wonderful. It's it's a tragic card, one that you never wish to see in a reading. And it was involving the the Seven of Swords, the Thief. There's only one man I can think of that would fit that fit that card. Something is gonna to happen to him. The last card I drew. The devil. Keep a close eye, something great and terrible is coming towards Vega. Well, Dull seems with him uh, right now. Mm. Dalzim is strong, but I feel like in a situation like this, the man could use all the help he could. I know that he's not that be that good of a person, but at least try to do what is right. If I have to. But thank you for the warning. I appreciate it. May fortune favor you, Guile. Thanks, Rose. We'll keep in touch. And with that, she disconnects. All right. Uh, gonna complete that call to Tammy. Let her know that uh, Vega's around looking for her and uh, probably stay away from him as much as possible. All right. And All right. Uh, then after I make the call, gather the change. Don't really want to go back to warn him just yet. I feel like I still should, but now that I know of the car accident, I feel I should I should go investigate that first. And with that, that is where we will cliffhang this first episode. This is fun. This is just fun. All right. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. This is good. Yeah. <laughs> Ragnar play, or fucking Sean playing Vega is so great. <laughs> See, everyone's doing well, and experience points, you get nothing. It's, ah! a, it's a one shot. What yes! do you want? Yes. We're doing a two shot. We'll Close finish now. this uh, two weeks from now. Yep. Uh, next ep uh, Join us next time when we kill a big fucking rat. Exactly. Right. <laughs> our, our wonderful uh, werewolf life play. Yes. Yes. If you're not subscribed to already, do so already. I am e-begging you as I speak. <laughs> oh my god. Is this what it feels like? Yeah, it is. I mean, what? I didn't e-beg. I'm just, I'm here along for the ride, my dude. I'm just the uh, editor. I've turned Haters into scum. Keep hating. Yep. <laughs> All right. And pr probably when we do this again, um, just download just download the demo of Street Fighter 6 and take a picture of your OC. 
I guess that makes sense, yeah. I, that game has a character creator in it. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Okay. And with, with that, we can cut for tonight. Yep. Good night, everybody. Uh, good night, guys. Good night.